So in this video, we're going to talk about the Madagascar rainbow fish, and we're going to talk about how to care for them, and why they make awesome fish for your next community tank. So like we said, today we're going to talk about the Madagascar rainbow fish, and if you haven't been here before, we have two tanks. This 40 gallon bow front and then our main tank of the channel which is this high tech 20 gallon which is obviously the better looking tank. Um, both tanks are getting upgraded. This will actually stay the same the same tank but it will just get a little bit different scape. A little bit better. Um, a lot more rock and um, slopes going on. But if you want to know all about that I got a lot of stuff on the channel about all that. But then we'll eventually upgrade this to a 70 gallon rimless um, eventually. So... That's a little spiel about that, but getting right into what what you guys really came here for, and that is the Madagascar rainbows. Now this side's kind of the light makes it kind of foggy for some reason, so I'm gonna get on the side where it's a little more clear. And these guys right here. So these guys come from, you know, from the name Madagascar. They come from the Madagascar rivers um, in Madagascar, obviously, and they're a really cool schooling fish, and obviously they're in the rainbow fish family. There's all kinds of rainbows, Bosmanis. You guys probably know if you've known fish, you, you know there's a million type of rainbows. This is just one species, and they're just and the common names are usually Madagascar rainbows. Um, that's usually how they get sold as. I don't know any other names besides that, but they're really cool looking rainbows. They're one of the more unique ones and there's a reason why I got these you know other than like Bosmani and all that I picked these um because of really their color scheme on these fish you know a lot of the other rainbows have really cool um brightly colored bodies but these really made difference for me because I really like the really high high red um fins and they really under the right lights these tails are really bright right red and they're they're so cool when you're schooling and against a planet tank these colors just pop so much and they're one of the better looking to me the rainbows that you can get um they on price wise they are a little bit on the they're not really that expensive but you, sometimes you will expect to pay almost ten dollars each for one um i think i got them for about eight or nine so not too bad um, most rainbows actually probably go for that much anyways, um, but as you can see, I got them with the community tank. They are a peaceful fish. They're, they do well with other fish. They, you do have to watch them though because they are peaceful, but they do sometimes, you know how fish are. They, they get a little nippy and you just got to watch it. They, they won't necessarily kill any fish, but sometimes, you know, during feeding they will fight and, but any fighting you really see it'll mostly be between its own species you won't really ever see a fight um any other fish besides you know its own type but um definitely tank setup um you gotta have a heated tank you know anywhere from 75 to 80 degrees they're they're um not any cold water wish they come from a warm environment obviously down by africa and madagascar that's you know warm watered rivers so um, definitely if you're a beginner or think about getting these fish, yes, the heater is necessary. Um, they're not really going to do good. Um, depending on what your room temperature is, you know, 72, 73, it might be doable, but, but it'd just be best to get a heater. Um, don't chance it. Um, but if you're getting a fish like this, more than likely you're going to have a really nice setup. Um, in, or a planted setup like I have, cause that's what they really do best in. Um, minimum tank size. If you're getting them about two or three inches, a thirty a thirty gallon or is probably the minimum I would absolutely go. These fish get huge; they get about f five six inches, and eventually these guys minimum need a hundred to hundred fifty gallon tank. Especially if you have a school of these guys, which I do recommend at least six or more. Um, if it was me personally, I'd get a dozen, twelve or more. But you know, obviously, not everybody has big enough tank to hold twelve. Um, not many rainbows, but basically what I plan to do basically is to, when I upgrade the, obviously they're in a 40 right now, so we're good right now, 
Um, and I got four right now, which we'll definitely get probably four more, get eight in here. I don't know, maybe we'll get 10 or 12. We'll just see how the, how really big the next tank is and what I can actually fit. Um, because we're going to kind of redo the stock and see what we can work with. But eventually, um, eventually you'll need to definitely upgrade these guys. You're not going to keep them long term. But if you're not going to keep them long term, you know, get them. Let them live in the tank until they get to a size where you can't really care for them no more. And give them back to a shop that can or give them to somebody that can care for them is what I would recommend. But... Other than that, they're really a hardy fish. There's nothing too, I mean, I could say some stuff, but I don't want to make this video too long and boring. There, there's nothing major you need to know about caring for them. Um, if you know if you know how to do an um, aquarium and and you do fine with aquariums, that you're not a beginner and you know what you're doing, you're going to have no problem with these fish. They're, they're actually very hardy. They're very easy. I did quarantine mine, so... Um, I can't really say I've tested how hardy they were because I'm not going to. They're expensive fish. I'm not going to sacrifice fish. That's kind of messed up. But um, from everything I've seen from people, and lights just turned off, but the, from everything I've seen, they're, people have been saying they're the hardiest fish, and especially for the rainbows because I know some rainbows can be a little skittish. But, well, the light turned off, and that was kind of perfect timing because I was about to you know, say my last words, but... Other than that, rainbows are super easy. Um, we'll go to this tank. So there's light, but rainbows are super easy. Any rainbow species, but the rain, um, Madagascar's in particular, they're a little bit, they're a little bit rare. I guess you don't, you don't always see them in shops more. At least those rainbows more often. You, you, you'll some of pasta, you'll come a, um, you'll see them once in a while, but you know, obviously you, you don't see those rainbows all the time. So I had to pick them up when I had them and make a video on them for you guys but if you like rainbows and you like really unique fish and fish that just pop out in color those are the fish to get trust me they're they're really cool i mean the camera does not do it justice for how good these fish look the bright reds on their tails they're just really good looking so if you guys um have any questions don't definitely tell me down below um but other than that come like subscribe and I'll see you guys next.